I'm reading directly from God's mouthpiece. And you're telling me that I wish God would curse me for giving people food when he just said he will do it. Right. That's scary. Because that means there's no fear. You don't fear the judgment of God. So if your mind says, I'm an Israelite, and I'm going to do what God says, I should look at you and see the commandments on you. you well, you don't look, you are dressed modestly. You No, you are dressed modestly. Right. She's not. You right. are. So right. you at least. Have, yes, because actually those are underwear. You're showing every man your shape out here. Right. You know what? So I yes, did, absolutely. I'm, hey, I'm being real with her. Actually. The book of Matthew chapter 5 and verse 14. Mm. Ye are the light of the world. Remember, you are the light of the world. Everybody follow what we do. Even though they try to act like they don't. We are the trendsetters like the officer said to you. Right. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. We are a nation that cannot be hid. Read on. Neither do men light a candle and put it under a, bu a bushel. So if you was keeping the commandments, there is no way you walk by me and I not notice it. No right. way. Because I cannot hide my life. Right. There is no way I walk past you and you say I dress like everybody else when you see these on me. That means I don't look like everybody else. I'm not sitting around here shaving my beard off my face. To try to uh, look like what the world say I should look like. Because right. the period according to God, as a man, I must grow it. Right. I can't shave it off. It's the first thing they cut off me in slavery. Right. Shave it off our face and call this boy. Right. Now we get now we got the option to shave it off or not. Right. And now when men walk around cutting it off their face, breaking God's law. It's a simple law. Right. Simple law. We are the light of the world. Now, let's go back. We're going we gonna to finish the law. We're going to finish the law in Sarah. Chapter 12, verse 2. The book of, book of Sirach, chapter 12 and verse 2. And this is what we're warning you about. This is what we're warning you about. Know that's your organization. I'm warning you. Because God told me to read. Do good to the godly man. Uh -huh. And thou shalt find a recompense. Mm -hmm. And if not from him, yet from the most high. So whenever you do good to people, do good to those that are keeping the commandments. Because if you don't get payment back from that person you do good to, God will pay you back instead. Right. Read on. There can no good come to him that is always occupied in evil. It said there is no good that can come to him that is always occupied in evil. Right. So if you do good to me and I'm in evil, there is no way you helping me is going to change me. I'm actually going to do more evil because you gave me the strength to do it. Right. That's what God just said. Right. You know? Nor to him that giveth no alms. Nor to him that giveth no alms. You can't take care of the righteous people. There is no good coming out of you. If I'm a drug dealer, I'm not righteous at all. If I'm a gangbanger, I'm not righteous at all. Why would I ever feed you? Right. Because I, used, I used to be a drug dealer. No, I know, but you ain't I no used more. To be out there. Right. You ain't no more. And I needed people like you to, to come and tell me. you. Yes. I needed and, people like me to come and say, come Listen, on, sister. and that's what Did I. And what, what you think we out here doing? Okay, I'm, I'm, I mean, we got to do that to everybody. Look, hey, look, 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 look. We got to catch the nah, ones that you, you have, look. I'm going to say you right. have, look. <laughs> You had look, look, your eyes open, you ain't got out the bed yet. Right. But your eyes is open. You ain't woke up, you ain't started walking around yet. And I'm ready. All praise it. And that's why we here. Because those that are hearing us, that's why we got the mic. So people that are standing all around can hear what we're saying. Right. And we ain't afraid to say it. That's because right. you don't think some of us up here came out of gang life? That's you right. don't think we was out here whoremongering around selling drugs, right. using them? Right. You don't think it's what we was doing? That's what we was doing too. But we stopped. Now we coming back to teach people the right way, whether they want to hear it or not. That's How right. Saved, How? I keep the commandments. And I ain't saved yet. Right. I'm still in the land of my captivity. No, when people say I'm saved, saved from what? Right. 
the slave master still got his neck on he got his knee on my neck too right i still gotta pay taxes just like you right i still gotta work a job to take care of my family just like you we ain't meant to work that's we were meant to rule the earth that's so right. therefore i'm not saved yet right waiting on christ to come back to do that and i'm gonna do everything he said so when he come back he can say good <laughs> thou faithful servant come on in and i'm gonna go in and dance my tail off that's when right. i get up in there read verse four give to the godly man uh -huh. and help not a sinner wait did the bible say that read that again give to the godly man and help not a sinner that's plain that's easy that's not hard to understand but we don't read the bible read right. do well unto him that is lowly do well to him that is lowly that's that man is keeping the commandments and he falls on hard time or that sister that's keeping the laws and she fall on hard time that's who you do well to read them but give not to the ungodly do not give to the sinner the person that ain't doing what god says if they break the sabbath why would you help them Right. See, we we think look your mind is in the right place because you want to help your people you just don't know how to do it according to god that's all i'm saying that's all we saying read hold back thy bread hold back thy what hold back thy bread food that's what y'all giving away hold back your food read and give it not unto him and give it not unto that ungodly man that's a law that y'all have never heard in the bible Right. Because what we think we're doing, white people do that with right. soup kitchens and stuff like that. Right. I'm gonna have the biggest soup kitchen. Listen, here in listen. I'm gonna have soup kitchens all well, across this country. Make sure you do it. Outside. Make sure, make sure you do it for godly people. That's right. All people. Read. Lest he overmaster thee. Lest he overmaster thee. So if you give to a sinner, he will overmaster you. What does that mean? You ever seen videos where the person is standing on the corner and they're like, I need help, and they hold up the sign, right? And then when the person reach in their pocket to give them money, they jack them and kill them right there on the spot and take everything they got? Right. That's what will happen. So while you're helping people, even though you're doing it for a good reason, what if somebody was to jack you or shoot you? Because they're gonna take everything you got instead of just a little. You sure you want me to answer that question? Yeah. <laughs> well, First of all, this whole town know Mixed Sisters United. No, they, they know, know you. They do. They know that we stand, we are not just a few in our community, we politically involved. Uh, okay. We stand 10 toes down in front of the police. We've shut this city down for what, four days, a whole week straight. They know not to play with us. Listen, so listen trust, to me, listen to me, over there. listen to me, listen I to me. It, I said it, I said the I, 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 I understand what you're saying, but if a person does that, God is not saying that might happen. So how are we supposed to, I want you to teach me how to save somebody. Uh, I want you to teach that's me what, listen, how to pull them up. That's, and that's, what? and was that, that listen, what's your name again? I, Tiffany? I got, uh, Brittany? Brittany? Brittany. I thought, I don't know why I said Tiffany. Where did that come from? I got testimony. Okay. I got testimony. Hold on, uh, Brittany, Brittany, Brittany. The testimony, right. listen, <laughs> all right. of us have a testimony right. look listen our testimony means nothing if it's not according to god that's right at least he overmastered thee thereby uh -huh. for else thou shalt receive twice as much evil for all the good thou shalt have done unto him so as you give to sinners I know you, I know you. I'm listen, listen, Brittany, 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 so Brittany, 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 we're reading the, the word words of the man that think, said that. Think I'm, I'm sleep. No, I'm Brittany, <laughs> Brittany, <laughs> Brittany, no we're reading, that. we're reading the I same read. words. Brittany, we're reading the same words of the person that said nothing shall come up against us, nothing shall prosper. And he's telling us if we don't do it. Brittany, I wish, I wish, Brittany, I wish get for it. Brittany, for it. Brittany, for love. Lord, for have love. mercy. No, sir. Brittany, I believe, <laughs> Brittany, I'm going to show you something. I'm going to say something man, to you. Brittany, Brittany, they be hungry. Brittany, they I'm, Brittany, you see how you do it? Are you, should you be doing that according to God while we're talking the Bible? Mm. Should you, yes or no? No, sir. No, so, sir. you're standing you in front of men God. of God. No. You look, and you're standing, you're woman, standing woman, listen, woman you're standing in yes, front sir. of a man of God. Yes, and look, I'm going to use God's words. Right. You're not using God's words. Right. I'm reading directly from God's mouthpiece. And you're telling me that I wish God would curse me for giving people food when he just said he will do it. Right. That's scary because that means there's no fear. 
you don't fear the judgment of God. The book of Mark chapter 3 and verse 4. And he saith unto them, it is lawful to do good on the Sabbath days, or to do good, or to do evil to save life, or to kill. So he asking the question, is it lawful to do good on the Sabbath day to, to heal or to kill or to save lives? He asked the question, what's doing good on the Sabbath day? Romans 7. Move to you. God explain. Look, you know how people say the Bible explain itself. That's because our people actually really doesn't know. We don't. We don't know what it really says, and that's why I'm here. That's why we all showed up in Sumter today because our people oh, yeah. don't know. Well, shoot. Matter of fact, we from all over. Yeah, he's from Sumter. <laughs> Which one? The one in the front. Okay. He's from Sumter, Columbia, whatever, uh, Florence, all that. And look, and this right. And look, look. This is only a few. We have 30 plus people teaching in multiple places today. Right. Something happens to be one. Yes, sir. All praises to the most high. It's a great goodness gracious of life. Amen. <laughs> We're going in. Let's go. Let's hey, it is what it is. Stay there, sir. We're going to deal with that. Read that. The book of Romans chapter 7 and verse 12. Wherefore? The law is holy. So we're talking about God's laws. Remember, the question is, what is good on the Sabbath day? What is good? What does that mean in the Bible? To do good, what does that mean? Wherefore, the law. Read. And the commandments, holy. So the laws and the commandment is holy. And just. They are just. And good. They are what? And good. So the good thing to do on the Sabbath is keep God's laws. That's it's not right. hard to understand, is it? But we, but we make it hard because of what we want to do. So because that's what you want to do, you say, I'm going to go against God. That's what you're saying. Even though she's doing a good deed. Well, then is, it, is it really a good deed? What did we read earlier? I don't think you, heard, you read, we wasn't here when we read the curse. That because she's doing it outside of what God says, she will receive twice as much evil as she would for all the good she did. Don't do a good deed on the, on the Sabbath, but any other day. No, do it the right way. If she's doing so right, right deed, now, right now, right, right, right now. Right now. Have to prepare the food on Friday. Right. And then serve Sabbath. No, serve, no, serve who on Sabbath? Serve God's people Saturday. And they are doing what on the Sabbath day? Keeping the Sabbath. So if people ain't keeping God's law, should you give it to them? No. From what you learned today, uh, uh, Brittany. You shouldn't give it to them, but Stop. if they're keeping the laws. If they are, them, yes. Yeah, but they said. That's right. Didn't the book said, keep the Sabbath, don't work, or don't do nothing on the Sabbath? It said, do. Them the food. No, 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 no. It says you can heal and everything, working, right? I'm, look, what do we? What do you think we are here doing? We are waking yeah, up our that's people. Right. We are healing the broken that's spirits right. of our people. Y'all, we all broke. And that's why we come out here with the Bible. But we look at it as, oh, y'all just reading the book. But we're not taking in what's being said because the only way to come to God is this way. You can't come to him how you want to. That's just like you got children? Yeah. So your children, you got rules you gave to them. In order for them to be in your good graces, they must do what you say, not whatever they want to do. Not, See what I'm saying? Not all the time. Not, <laughs> what if I tell them to do something? Wrong, no, no, no. Uh, we know that. Okay, we, okay. That's con <laughs> now, 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 Brittany. <laughs> now, Brittany. Like that. Now, that's common sense. <laughs> no, we ain't talking about telling them to do simple <laughs> stuff. No. Most people don't think so. You gotta bring it to the lowest terms. All praises. Well, listen. Okay, cool. When you tell them to do what God said, the book of Isaiah, chapter twenty-nine and verse thirteen. Wherefore the Lord said. For as much as this people draw near me with their mouth. We always give God mouth service. We only talk a good game, but we won't do what he said. He said, my people draw near me with their mouth. That's how we grew up thinking that Caesar Bowl was the real Jesus Christ. Because people was taught a bald faced lie. And our people worship his doctrine going to church on Sunday. We follow, we say that Christ was born on December 25th. Right. We worship and do Thanksgiving. Right. We worship and do all the false holidays right. that are not in the Bible. Right. But we've been lied to and been coming to God for no reason. We come we come to God in the way white people say come to God. Right. When God is a black man. Right. Jesus is a black man. That's Everybody right. that wrote the Bible looked like us. Right. And we will sit up there and follow false doctrines and say, well, I love God. No, you don't. Right. Because you don't do what he said, like she. You said you want to do what you want to do. 
Where you at? Let's read that. Read it again from the top. The book of Isaiah, chapter 29, and verse 13. Uh -huh. Wherefore, the Lord said, For as much as this people draw near me with their mouth. So as much as our people draw near God with their mouth, all they do is talk a good game. And with their lips, uh -huh. do honor me. We are, I love God. Yes, sure. I will do everything he said. Right. That's what we say. Right. Read. But have removed their hearts. Which is your mind. You will remove you have removed your mind. Far from me. Far from God. Because you don't know what he wants you to do. Read. And their fear towards me. And your fear. How you even fear God, how you worship God. Read. It's taught. It's taught by who? By the precept. Of men. By men. You did not learn that from the Bible, which is God. Right. You learned it by what people said. People said, come on Easter. Let's do Good Friday and Easter. That was by man. That's not by God. Right. Christmas. Christ was born in the dead of December. In the Bible, he was born around Passover in spring. Right. During Passover. Right. And you're worse than his birthday when you ain't even supposed to do birthdays in the Bring Bible. That's idolatry. You put yourself above God on that day. Right. Men taught us that. Right. And now we say we love God. Give me 1 John 2. Bring it out. 1 John 2. You know what I want. Let's get to it. Uh, no, verse uh, 3. The book of 1 John, chapter 2, and verse 3. And hereby we do know that we know him. This is how we know that we know God. If we keep his commandments. That's a big word. If. If we keep his commandments. The only way you can say you know God. Let's see what God says. He that saith, I know him, and keep not his commandments. So if you say you love God, you know God, but you don't do what he say. Read. Is a liar. Is a what? Is a liar. That's what God said. I didn't write the book. My ancestors did, and I follow what they said because I want the kingdom. Right. Read. And the truth is not in him. So if you go against what God said, that means you are a liar when you tell God you love him. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.